going to do a Ben and Patty Walk and Talk with Patrick Pope and Jesse Jensen. That's Patty back there. That's Beth right there. Hello. This is Ben right here. I'll be your cameraman today. <laughs> this is the uh, GoPro. I'm going to put the viewer in my pocket. Let's walk and talk, shall we? Uh, so it's a brand new theater you guys are opening. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, so this guy, Patrick, uh, myself, Jesse, we're uh, working with a guy named Chris, and uh, we're trying to do some new uh, interesting theater in Sioux Falls that hasn't been hopefully done before. Well, definitely not done before. And this is this is professional theater. These are going to be paid actors and actresses. Yes. Okay. Now, Patty has done some acting for, for pay, but uh, those, <laughs> those are some long ago pictures. She was in college. She needed some hey, money. It was clearly optional. It was optional. summer. It was in the back of the deli, and they paid us with prime rib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Questions in the back, Beth. Yes, I was wondering about some of the local actors that have made it big and if it might be a possibility for you to bring them on when they come back home to visit. I'm thinking Cody Strand, he was just in Book of Mormon and he was just on Broadway. Now he's in the Traveling Truth. Oh, and then there's that redhead who's in that M&M's commercial. She made it big too and I think it would be so cool if you could bring him on. I, I, we are ready to work with, with, with anybody. You know, so, so that, that that's over big too. Um, you also have uh, uh, Mike McGowan, you know, who who uh, is is uh, does a lot of stuff in Broadway. Mm -hmm. You know, came back I, I believe two years ago to uh, do something with the S South Dakota Symphony. Yeah, yeah. Our, our first venture is actually in less than two weeks. We're going to be at the Icon Lounge, and we're doing a late night version of uh, uh, the complete works of William Shakespeare Bridge. We're looking to add some uh, adult. I don't want to say adult entertainment, but a grown-up entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's a different guy. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll tell you where there's more money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> but we, uh, we feel like there's a need for uh, for late night entertainment downtown. Where if you're having a nice dinner at Minerva's or Crawford's or something along those lines or Parker's, and you get out and you say. Hey, I heard there's a show down at the Icon. They're serving drinks, fifteen dollars a head, and you can see live theater. That just doesn't happen right now. Right. But right now, we want to just start and uh, we want to cultivate local talent, um, give them a platform. So we're starting with the small ensemble. So this will be an ensemble-based organization, sort of like uh, 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 the way they do it in Chicago. In Chicago, they usually start with a, they have an ensemble of five or six actors that they commit to using every year, and then they have associate members where they say, well. You don't have to audition, so if we need you, we'll use you, but we can't commit to you, definitely. And then we'll always have auditions and grow the ensemble from there. So This is exciting. I mean, it's something that, that Sioux Falls really needs. More theater breeds more theater. Good theater is good theater. Exactly. You, you guys go ahead and quote me on that if you want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that oh I'm sure they will. Yeah. <laughs>